Hey everyone and welcome to this short lesson on factorials. We're going to start off by looking at a set of descending positive integers from 5 all the way down to 1. And in this lesson we are concerned with the product of these five numbers. So this is pretty easy to multiply. 5 times 4 we know equals 20. 20 times 3 equals 60. 60 times 2 equals 120. And that value times 1 again is still equal to 120. Now another way to express what we just did is to use this exclamation point symbol which in math is called a factorial. Now in this case 5 factorial equals 120. Now it's okay if that seems a little weird. So let's look at another example here. Now again factorial is just a special notation. So for instance 7 factorial would equal 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You just move in descending order from the number that you start with until you reach 1. And remember that factorials represent a product of these numbers. In this case, 7 factorial equals 5,040. Now, before we move on to the examples, we just want to be aware of some special cases concerning factorials. And those have to do with 1 factorial and 0 factorial, both of which are equal to 1. So let's go ahead and gain some practice working with factorials. In this first example, we have the difference of 14 and 10 in parentheses factorial. Now the rules of order of operations still apply here. We do parentheses first, 14 minus 10 equals 4. And now all we have to do is evaluate 4 factorial, which again just equals 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 24. Now in our next example, we can look at dividing two factorials. In this case, we have 9 factorial being divided by 5 factorial. So we can rewrite the numerator as 9 factorial in expanded form. And we can do the same thing in the denominator with 5 factorial written in expanded form. And we should notice here now that we have some repeating values in both the numerator and the denominator. In this case, they both share the product of 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which means that we can cancel those out because they'll just factor out to 1. So all we have left to do is find the product of the remaining values, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, which equals 3,024, which is equivalent to the original fraction that we started with of 9 factorial over 5 factorial. <laughs> cool. So just keep in mind that factorials are pretty straightforward and they're pretty easy to work with. Just make sure that you're aware of the notation and what it means when working with them in the future. All right, thanks a lot for checking us out. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for checking us out. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more free animated math lessons updated every week.